Okay, let's go to question number six. There is an imaginary planet whose radius is one tenth the radius of Earth, and the density of the planet is equal to density of Earth. Radius of Earth is given. G at the surface is given. In this particular planet, a tunnel of depth one fifth its radius is dug. And now, wire of length R P by five, exactly of the same length, and linear density, let me call it lambda, is lowered. And if the wire is not touching anywhere, the force applied at the top to hold it is. That means, what you have to apply the force is exactly equal to the weight that it gets. So if I say the depth is y a very very small element the weight of this element would be lambda dy into g and what is g there that's g planet 1 minus y by r obviously r of planet and this is the weight of that small element and integrating from 0 to r p by 5 will get the total weight and this is the same force that has to be applied from the top and you could easily see density is same radius of the planet is one tenth so this will be one tenth the acceleration due to gravity at earth with those small calculation you will get correct option as 108 newton we'll go to question number seven now Okay, question number seven is from surface tension. It's a capillary, but this time it's a truncated cone and it has an apex angle alpha. When dipped in water, it rises to a height h and wherever it has rose, the radius of cross section is b. If surface tension is s, angle of contact is theta, we got to find the value of h. You can see in this way the semi vertex angle is alpha by 2 and this is the radius of meniscus. Now here you have to see this is the meniscus extended and this is the tube. This angle is theta you could see. And if I draw a vertical, this angle will be alpha by 2. Now you could see this is the meniscus and meniscus and the radius are perpendicular. In other words, this angle will be pi by 2 minus theta plus alpha by 2 while this angle will be theta plus alpha by 2 and this radius of the cross section is B. Now I can very easily relate that R equals to B by cos theta plus alpha by 2. And now using the expressive formula 2T by R where T is the surface tension here it is S that hardly matters will be equals to rho g h and on solution you will get option number d. Let us go to question number 8 now. Question number 8 is from electrostatic. Three uniformly charged solid spheres are given. Charges are shown the radii r by 2r and 2r. And there are three points P which respectively lies in this way. And if electric field at P due to these three are E1, E2 and E3, we got to rank them. So for the first, it is quite simple. That will be K Q by R square because it is outside. For the second, that will be K the charge is 2q 
and the radius is r square because we are exactly finding here and for the third it is a point inside so k q r is the distance from the center by radius cube quite obviously it will lead us to option number c now we will go to question number 9. 